Hi Scorpio and welcome to your Spiritual Path Tarot Reading for August 2019. This tarot reading is intended for those of you who are very spiritually focused, spiritually based, spiritually gifted, feel like you have a spiritual mission this lifetime. Okay, so I'm going to start this reading off, Scorpio, by pulling a card for overall energy and message regarding your spirituality, spiritual mission, spiritual gifts for August. Okay. So let's see what comes out. Ooh, you guys have the eternal union. New love is forming. So Cancer also received this, Scorpio. So if you're Cancer rising or moon, you might want to check that out. But also um, you could be potentially, um, you know, connecting with a cancer, reconnecting with a cancer, um, or a bond strengthening with the cancer. And now the eternal union is talking about soulmates, okay? Your soulmates for this lifetime. That includes friends, family, mentors, as well as romance. So this eternal union is going to speak something different to each and every one of you. And um, you know, for romance, because this is spiritually based reading, this to me would talk about, you know, twin flame energy. So, Scorpio, in the month of August, part of your spiritual experience and growth has to do with connecting with one of your soulmates, all right? So, let's pull a card here to see what um, darkness or lower vibrating negative energies you will be overcoming in August um, due to this right here. All right, is this me? Okay, so Scorpio, this right here feels like a complete turnaround for some of you, okay, um, where you may, um, wow, some of you may have really just felt outcast and rejected and like um, outrightly from people or it's like internally you felt that way because you don't really feel like, you know, you could have a whole room of friends around you, but you're like, none of these people really know me. None of these people really get me. And um, now here comes August and it's like you are experiencing um, relationships and connections like soul to soul, like your soul tribe is coming in really strong and um, it could be a new person, a new spiritual companion entering your life. Um, it could be a reconnection or it could be, you know, a really like um, a current connection going from a, um, you know, a level right here to much deeper, much more spiritually based than ever before. Okay. And um, with, is this me? It's almost like you're like, is this real? Is this really happening? Like, can I trust this type of energy? So let's pull some more cards, Scorpio. Alright, so we have do the work, we have personal mission, and we have self-discovery. Okay, Scorpio, um, listen, with that there coming out, this is letting you know that it's these soulmates coming in that, you know, are connecting with you. It's to help you, like, accept and expand into a more spiritual version of yourself. And when I say that, a version of yourself that honors and appreciates yourself much more than you do um, right now, like, you don't know the, the true essence of your magic and how gifted some of you really are. Um, 
the depth and like I said you feel outcast you feel um, rejected some of you and you know those of you who have really just felt like you did not fit in I get the sense you've been kind of on your own for a while and you've been doing a lot of work on self-discovery self-mastery because personal mission is about somebody who is very spiritually gifted and um, wise but this particular life journey may not be about um, taking all of that spiritual gift and wisdom and projecting it out to all of humanity, you know, where you are on like some sort of platform or, you know, specifically, um, you know, using your spiritual gift as like um, a spiritually based business, something like that. That right there is like, that's not really what's going on. It's the people that you interact with personally throughout life that um, are, are like your work, okay, rather than um, say like what I'm doing right now, you know, doing a, a, a YouTube platform. Um, it's not to say none of you, you know, are, aren't doing like bigger spiritual work, but with this card, it's like those of you who are incredibly gifted, it may be like so many people are like, oh, you should do that professionally, or you should do this, you should do that. And you're like, yeah, that would be a good idea, but you don't really feel it. Like, you're like, I don't, that, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't, you just, you don't feel it. And that's okay, Scorpio. You don't have to. Um, because with personal mission, this life journey is a big time about discovering like self like the magic of self and knowing the self and it it takes a lot of energy and effort on your behalf to do that because um i just feel kind of like lifetime after lifetime you've been um in this role of like giver caretaker um you know really giving your energy out to humanity and this lifetime is like a reward to you where you, you know, from the human perspective, all of us want to be like, oh yeah, I want to be the best at what I do. I want to be known, you know, all of these things. But um, it's almost like this lifetime, it's a gift to you to not have that responsibility and all that weight on you. Um, it's like, start following your passion um, more than you do. Maybe some of you took your spiritual gift and you have um, been using it, you know, to generate income and it's like you feel as though like it's lost its luster, it's lost its magic and you're like, well, what do I do? Like this is, you know, my thing now. Um, your guides are like, follow your passion and do whatever it takes to like shift that. Um, I, I almost feel like, man you have multiple things you're going to be doing throughout this lifetime to generate income. And I don't know why this is all coming back to income for me. I'm sorry, but it's like I keep getting brought back to that for you guys, Scorpio, um, where you, man, it's like you have many different identities that you will experience this lifetime. And with Is This Me, Personal Mission and Self-Discovery, um, there's a, a, like, it's this August, it's like that is happening where it's time to, like, completely shift into, um, a new thing, a new way of, um, like, maybe receiving money, um, the way that you present yourself, just like what you're doing, it's time for, like, that new shift to come in, Scorpio, and, you know, I feel like this is actually a step up from where you are. And there's, you know, an element of like, can I do this? Can I really do this? And these, um, you know, soulmates coming in are really going to help facilitate this process and really help you dig deeper into yourself and discover um, gifts and talent and ability that you didn't even know you had, Scorpio. Um but with do the work, it's like even if it exists within you, there's this period of, you know, getting back into the groove, getting back into the flow of these gifts and talents that are coming forth from past life because everything that's a part of you is from a previous life that you've experienced. And so um, 
There's so much more to you, Scorpio, than you are aware of. So much more. And these new soulmates coming in or these reconnections, it's to help you dig deeper and to discover these things and these talents about yourself. Like, it's time to follow a new passion. Um, but it's spiritually based. So let's um, pull some dice. Oh my gosh, look at that. The tower. Total change and shift. Yeah, it's right there. And look, here is the new spiritual soulmates coming in for you. Some of them very shocking. Um, the sadness, the disconnection, the loneliness, feeling like you don't fit in. And now you finally coming into your energy, coming into your own and... Um, feeling like you're grounded once again, like you know where you're headed. Uh, yeah, some of you, it could have been like you were just getting really burnt out and it's like you almost wish to go back to like um, a corporate job or something like, you know, because doing spiritual work, it's a lot of work in a very different way, right? So um, some of you may have just gotten to the point where you're like, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. And now Spirit is going to open you up to aspects of yourself that you didn't know existed. And it also um, comes through these soulmate connections. And Scorpio, where there was sadness and disconnection and feeling like you don't fit in, it's like you're finally discovering yourself again and falling in love with yourself and realizing how magical you are and like the limitless and endless potential that you're capable of and that your life is your own and you've done a lot of work for spirit um, in previous lifetimes. So this lifetime, um, there's definitely a period where it's meant for just you, Scorpio, to do what you desire what you want to do, what's going to make you happy, what's going to make you feel good. And um, it's, and I don't know, August, it's like a, a time to come back to the focus of yourself and what will truly make you happy. And even if it's some crazy, sharp right turn out of nowhere, that's exactly what you need to do um, because I just, it leads to your prosperity. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Oh, if I could grab them, Scorpio, I don't know what my deal is. All right. On this tower, we have the Knight of Swords. Look at that. That's new thoughts, new ideas, divine guidance coming in quick and strong. Or some of you, this is like could be one of these soulmates coming into your world quite shockingly, unexpectedly, out of nowhere. Could be an air sign. Um, Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini, and also the King of Swords sits on top of this tower. So that's a very strong indication of air energy. On top of this um, lovers, we have the Seven of Cups. So this is kind of like what you've been hoping for in spiritual companion, whether it's a friend, a mentor, a romance, just whatever it is for you personally, Scorpio. Um, this is like what you've been hoping for. On top of this five of cups, we have the eight of wands. So yeah, it's like it's sadness and heartache and um, depression is being erased and there's like this beautiful energy burst of energy coming in and you're feeling revitalized and like giving yourself permission to go a new way to do what makes you happy and lastly look at this nine of swords sitting on top of this empress and scorpio this is wow and look seven eight nine i love it yes and the next one out would be Queen of Cups, which would be your energy. So Scorpio, um, it's the end of the like the worry and the loneliness and like carrying the burden on your own. Um, you're just awakening to different parts of yourself that you were not previously aware of, and it's just it's like a relief. Um, 
and some of um, either what's reconnecting with you or coming into your reality in um, August is very shocking to you but it's a pleasant surprise Scorpio it's not like this crappy bad energy that you don't want to deal with okay if these are good connections um, or reconnections and with seven eight nine um, and look at this card 15 would be a six so six seven eight nine yes oh my god five right there five six seven eight nine so you're going from challenge and you're changing and you're moving into a nine which is um, right on the verge of completion of you know a new manifestation and uh, Scorpio whatever new concept new idea new path forward comes to mind follow it through and don't um, be afraid to do the work that it's going to take because you will be very happy you did and you're going to have some really good support and love coming in to help you all the way through opposed to you always giving and taking care of it's like finally there's energy returning back to you and somebody taking care of you and supporting you okay and look at this power symbol cleanse purify and protect the physical body so this being um the final card of your um reading here scorpio to me that's just you know the confirmation of get in tune with yourself let the past go there's new spiritual companions coming in cleanse and purify your energy so that you could be in the highest vibration for these soulmate connections and reconnections because there's a lot of happiness and it kind of really surprises you and shocks you um you know these connections but scorpio it's just like i feel august is the time for you like july august september is a time of personal mission of self-discovery doing the work in that space because it's time to connect with some soulmates to go to the next level of you, yourself, your reality, and your spiritual journey, okay? So those are your messages, Scorpio. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.